Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, SoCal Socialite. I am Emily and today I am here to talk to you about sewing resources for beginner sewists or for people who already know how to sew but would like additional resources to help them with their sewing projects. So before I begin, I would like to first point out that the dress I am wearing, I did not make. I know it's kind of cheating. Um, unfortunately, my wardrobe is not yet all handmade, though that is what I am striving for. So I do have a lot of store-bought clothing. And this one is actually new, and I just got it from Target from that 20th anniversary collection for their de their designers where they had like Missoni Miss and Anna Sui. And this one is a Jason Wu dress. So. I just wanted to point that out, but this is a very cute. If I saw this pattern, I would definitely make it, of course. Anyway, not to get off track. Um, so when learning to sew, I think the best way is obviously to go to sewing classes where there is an instructor right there to help you, to provide immediate feedback, and to show you, you know, right away, um, hands on how to sew. I think that's the best way, but that isn't for everyone. It's costly and it's not exactly flexible. You kind of have to, you're at the mercy of the instructor's schedule and going somewhere, all of that. But I find that most resources, best resources these days are on the internet and most of them are free, which is, which is obviously really good. Um, and if you're here, you probably think so too, because you're watching a YouTube video. So the best thing to do and what I do, I find, is if you are looking to, you know, let's say you want to learn how to do a blind hem. You go to Google, you type how to sew a blind hem and you're going to get lots of suggestions. You're going to get blogs. You're going to get vlogs, which are usually YouTube videos and so forth. I tend to gravitate towards um, vlogs, YouTube videos, because I think that having a video and seeing exactly how it's done is more helpful than blogs and pictures, though those can be very helpful as well. Um, they're both helpful, but I prefer vlogs. That's just me. So when I'm discussing my internet resources. I don't have specific blogs to share with you. I kind of just Google and some, and I find random ones. I haven't really uh, subscribed or followed one, though I probably should. So I'm asking you as my viewers to please tell me what your favorite blogs are, and I would love to check them out. I think the only one that I followed sort of was Gertie's like guide to better sewing, something like that. I'll link it below. But um, I do have three YouTubers that I tend to go to on a regular basis when I'm learning or I need some guidance on how to execute a particular technique. And I will go into those in more detail. The next resource I will talk about is Blueprint, and Blueprint is a platform for um, online classes, not just sewing, but they have everything from, you know, baking, jewelry making, woodworking, to even fitness classes. And I have taken quite a few Blueprint classes myself. Blueprint used to be called Craftsy, and now it's called Blueprint. And that leads me to my giveaway. Um, Yes, so my giveaway has to do with Blueprint, but let me finish talking about um, my other resources that I recommend. The next one are books. I love books. I collect books. I have quite a few sewing books. So I'm going to go over books I think that would help people um, learn to sew. And then I have a couple of magazine suggestions. I think magazines are another great way to learn new tips and techniques along the way. And that's what I'll be discussing. So let me get back to Blueprint before I start to look at all of these recommendations in more detail. I'm going to be doing my very first giveaway, so I'm really happy for that. Um, I'm going to be giving away a three month month subscription to Blueprint. And this video is not sponsored by Blueprint. 
this is with my own money. It's just, I feel I want to spread the joy of sewing, as cheesy as that may sound. And I think that giving someone a three month subscription to Blueprint would be a great way to help um, someone learn to sew or improve their technique. And you don't have to, like I said earlier, you don't have to use it just to, to watch sewing classes. You can learn anything, like cooking. Um, I use it for baking. I use it for baking and sewing primarily. And I've really been enjoying it, so I think it'd be great if someone else could enjoy it too. So in order to enter that giveaway, you just need to be subscribed to my channel. Please like this video and leave a comment below telling me if you won the subscription to Blueprint, what classes would you take and why do you want to learn how to sew and why do you sew? I know for me, I sew because I need a creative outlet. If I don't have a creative outlet and I'm not making something, um, I find myself to be more stressed out and I just don't feel fulfilled. I have a great day job, but that's just not enough for me. I need something more creative. So I'd like to hear why you sew and how you benefit from sewing. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into each resource. And I'm going to take you through um, my three recommended YouTube channels. And then I'm going to kind of take you on a mini tour through Blueprint. And then we'll look at all of my books and magazine recommendations. And that will be it. Oh, and please share any resources that you think other viewers would find helpful and that I might find helpful. There's just so many channels and blogs and books and magazines out there. It's hard to know about them all. So I really want to hear from you. After all, YouTube is a great way to exchange information. So I really want to hear what you have to say. So let's get going. Let's open up the computer. Okay. We are here at myblueprint.com and we are going to just quickly look through what Blueprint has to offer. So if you hit the crafts button up there, you can see they offer everything from quilting to art classes to baking and cooking to woodworking, home and garden, fitness and dance. But we're gonna focus today on sewing. If you click sewing, you can see that they have um, different subcategories within sewing so you can go to you know machine basics and this will be where you learn how to use your machine you learn what the presser feet do how to use them um, you can make basic projects like a simple bag learning about needles and top stitching how to sew a straight line Classes that are obviously very good for beginner sewists. Then you can get into garment construction and there's going to be classes that offer lots of tips for creating a really nice garment. Then there's um, 40 techniques every sewer should know. Great class, packed with lots of tips. Um, Janet Prey offers classes on how to sew faster. Really, she's taking techniques they used in the industry to help you um, really become efficient with your sewing. And then we've got the zipper and waistband class. I really like that. I learned a lot. If you're new to sewing, a shift dress class would be easy. Um, underneath it all is a great class. It teaches you about interfacings, lining, and facings. This one's on my list. I haven't watched it yet, but it's sewing mistakes, what can go wrong, and how to make it right. I think that would be incredibly useful. Um, then there's this class on drafting an A-line skirt using your measurements. That's really great because one of the reasons we sew is so that we can make clothes that fit our unique bodies. So there's just a lot here. Lots of great stuff. Um, there's a sewing with knits section and that's incredibly helpful because knit fabric behaves differently from woven fabric. And you really need to understand how to work with it in order to be successful. Of course, they have lots of classes that will help you do that. Um, then we've got a sewing with special fabrics section and this is really great because I'm a firm believer in really understanding your fabric and how to work with it. 
because if you don't, you know, you're, you might not have the success that you want. Um, Sandra Betsina's class is really great. She um, offers topics. Um, she goes through the more common fabrics like cottons, linens, silks, knits, wools, rayons, polyesters. And then you have, I would guess, maybe a class for more advanced sewers by Kenneth King, who is a marvelous teacher. He's going to go through the more painful fabrics to work with, like um, velvet, satins, lames, metallics, organzas, organdies, silks, crepes. These fabrics are notoriously difficult to work with. And Kenneth King even says in his class that he would rather chew glass than work with these fabrics. And I have to say, I agree. There's even a section on surging. So if you're ready to get into surging, you can learn how to do that. There's even classes on cover stitching. Um, if you're looking to buy an inexpensive but good serger, I highly recommend the Brother 1034D. That was my first serger. I still have it. It's a great little workhorse for the money. I think it's under $200. I'll link it below if you're interested in checking it out. But that is a great starter machine. Um, there you go. Lots of classes there. And then there's other you topics. Um, couture sewing, if you really want to up your game. Embellishments and upcycled sewing. So that is Blueprint. Next, we have my YouTube picks. I only have three. So if you want to tell me about any of your favorite YouTubers, please do. But these are the three that I find myself going back to when I'm in the middle of a project and I need to stop and look up how to complete a task that I don't really know how. I find myself going to these three. And Angela Kane has a lot of different random videos like top stitching or, you know, putting together a PDF pattern and swimwear. She also has some basic sewing videos as well. Made to Sew is a really great channel. Her name is Anika. She's British. She explains things slowly. She doesn't rush through it. So you can really take your time and learn the techniques. She's got different ones like buttonholes and just tool flowers, even tips on buying a sewing machine. And look at these blind hems. In fact, I, that video I've watched quite a few times. Just, and then quick um, full bust adjustment, small bust adjustment, moving darts. She's got a playlist too for beginners and that would, I think that would be really helpful. Um, where is that? Pattern drafting tutorials. Where's her beginner sewing? I know she has one. Beginner sewing dressmaking class, that's it. Really, really helpful. Oh, and beginner sewing tutorials. Love Anika from Made to Sew. Then we have Professor Pincushion. Did I not? Okay, let me look. Professor Pincushion. There we go. So go to her channel. She has so many different videos like oh look repairing chiffon i'd rather not thank you <laughs> no business repairing chiffon but like, sew a jacket cuff then you've got fabric overview seam allowance just oh and sewing your cat a roman co costume that would go over real well with my cat oliver Ooh, a viking pet costume but just different things. How to distress denim jeans. Usually what I'm looking for, I can also find with Professor Pencushion. She does have some premium content and I think it's $4.99 to join hers. But honestly, I haven't had to. I have found what I'm looking for and her channel. So again, there's so many YouTube creators and out there and bloggers too. So please, please share your favorites with me and the rest of the viewers because I think we would really appreciate additional resources. So let's go ahead and check out my books. So the first book I'd like to talk about is Fabric for Fashion, the swatch book. As I mentioned before, 
really understanding the your fabric, the fibers it's made out of, and just how it behaves and how you need to treat it and how it feels is really important for a successful experience in sewing. So this book is great because it actually includes swatches. Just give you an example here, and most of them are undyed. Um, so you could feel it, you can stretch it, you can pull it, you can see how it's gonna drape. They have um, natural fiber fabrics, and then they have man-made. So you can really get a nice variety and really begin to understand how these fabrics work, essentially. And let's see, here's some cottons, cotton denim, because, okay, let's say you have cotton. Well, you can have a cotton denim, which is gonna be thicker, and then you can have a cotton piquet, which is a knit, and it's lightweight. So just because it's cotton doesn't mean it, it's going to be heavy, doesn't mean it's going to be light. It just depends. It depends on if it's a woven, how it's woven, depends on if it's a knit, that kind of thing. And you're going to learn all of that in this type of book. Another thing to do is to go to the fabric store, walk around, feel the fabric, take notes. Also, go to a, a de, um, department store, look at the clothes, look at the clothes that you like, take notes see what it's made out of, see how it drapes, is it soft, that kind of thing. Just really start to pay attention to what's around you in terms of fabric that is. So those are my suggestions. So this book I think is really essential. You could also join some swatch clubs. Um, those can be pricey. That's one way to do it and to be able to feel different fabrics. But I think if you just go to a local fabric store and walk around, take some notes in a little journal that's gonna help a lot then I have whoop, focus then I have a couple of books about fabric and this is so any fabric from Claire Schaefer and I'm just gonna open it up to give you an example so let's just say let's say rayon right so we're reading about rayon and it's gonna talk about the uses essential supplies like what needles thread how to cut it the machine machine information like the proper stitch length um, tension what feet are best for it seam and hem finishes how to press it how to care for the garment after you've made your outfit or your your garment I should say then she's got like pretty much just everything almost chenille so this is an excellent book another book that's along the same lines actually is this one from Sandra Betsina who actually teaches one of those blueprint classes that I showed you it's got the same kind of information so let's say we're working with this lame she's going to talk about how to pre-shrink it, how you should lay it out, marking, cutting, interfacing, what thread to use, what needles to use, stitch length, press your feet that work, closures, top stitching. So she's got pretty much a lot of the same info, but some different info as well. So the combination of these two books really works wonders for me when I'm using a fabric I haven't used before. And you can get um, books cheap, used but cheap on thriftbooks.com that tends to be where I get most of my books I get them usually for about four or five dollars most of the time and shipping's like 99 cents you can't beat that but if you're the type that doesn't like used things then Amazon of course is a great place and I'll link the ones my books um, to Amazon just to make sure that they are available because thrift books it's hit and miss since it's used what is available and what's not but here I have a fitting book next. And once you understand fabrics, you really need to understand fit too. Because why bother spending all this money and time on making something if it's not gonna fit 
personally, I still do struggle with fit. It's not an easy thing, at least for me. But this book makes it a lot easier, and I think this is my favorite fit fitting book that I have. It's also very popular in the sewing community, so that's why I chose it. And this is the Complete Photo Guide to Perfect Fitting. I like it because it's got great pictures, as you can see here examples of poorly fitted garments and how you would fix them. Just flipping through randomly to give you an idea of what we're looking at. Excellent book. There's lots of different fitting books out there, of course, but I think this one is one of the better ones, so that's why I've put it in my pile. Next, I'm going to talk about just basic garment construction or just basic sewing technique books there. This one I recently got on Thrift Books, and I wasn't sure what to expect, but I was pleasantly surprised. So this is the DK, the complete book of sewing. It's kind of like, you know those little picture encyclopedias? Well, this that's kind of what this is like. There's just so much in here. Like, inner, look, hand stitches, inner linings, really nice pictures. It talks about necklines, finishing casings. I'm just flipping through randomly, trying to give you an idea. I really like this book, and I can't wait until I have time to just sit and read all the little bits. Really cool. They have some fitting in there, too, and a little bit. Most of these books will have a little bit about fabrics and that kind of thing. They won't get into it as much as the other books, but they'll, they'll touch on it. This is a really great book. Awesome. Um, the next one I have is this one by Vogue Butterick, Step by Set Step Guide to Sewing Techniques. Just flip through these. The pictures in here are illustrated rather than actual photos, but they are very helpful. I think they're not as bad as the patterns, right? They seem to be a little bit more clear. I found that this is helpful. The other, a few more. There's another one. So this is the complete photo guide to clothing construction. Photos tend to be a little bit more helpful, I think, than illustrations sometimes, it's depending. So you can see just nice, clear pictures. And then I've got oh, another Sandra Betsy book. Power Sewing, Step by Step. Oh, host of HGTV So Perfect. I've never seen it, have you? I should try to look for it. I just realized that, said that. I'm not real sure about these vests, but do people wear vests anymore? I don't know. Um, she's got some good tips in here too. I think that, you know, if you can build your library, especially on the cheap side, used books, like each of these books is going to offer a little something. And when you go through and you read them, you're going to pick up different tips and different ways of doing things, and you'll discover what way works best for you. So I don't mind having lots of different books. And the last two books I'm going to share with you are Tilly and the Buttons because I am on a Tilly kick lately. She's just so good. She, her patterns, they, she explains things so clearly. And, the, and she, just, the pictures, just amazing. So this book, let me start with this one actually. This is her first book. And this is just about um, Love at First Stitch, Demystifying Dressmaking. And she takes you through making garments and the patterns are actually included here. So with these types of books, when there's patterns, I recommend buying them new just to make sure that you're getting everything and nothing's ruined. So she's taking you through each of the garments and let me just flip through the patterns. like Things for marking and how to read your pattern 
waistline, crotch, darts, pleats. She's And these are how her pattern instructions are. If you just buy a Tilly and the Buttons pattern, they look like this. Excellent. I love Tilly and the Buttons and the fit has been spot on so far. So the items in this book are going to be for wovens. If you want to start sewing knits, this is an excellent place to start because as I've said before, Tilly makes everything easy. So again, we've got patterns in this book and she walks you through how to sew knits. And she talks about um, in the beginning, you know, how to understand knits, how to work with them, talks about ease, how to test the stretch of fabric, how to fit or do some pattern adjustments. She talks about serging as well. Now you don't have to have a serger to sew knits. You can actually use your regular sewing machine if you do a zigzag. That prevents the stitches from popping when the fabric stretches. If you have um, just a straight stitch, your stitches are probably gonna pop when you stretch out that fabric. So again, she's gonna take you through making all of the patterns in the book. And these two, oh look, and there's a hoodie, so cute. I just love these books. These are wonderful. She's got a third one coming, I think in a few months, so definitely check that out. But there we go, let's get all my books in. Yay, 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 yay. Okay, so there you have it. We've gone through my favorite internet resources. Now we've looked at my books. Oh, how could I forget my magazines? The two magazines in the US, and I say that because the UK has some really great sewing publications. It's just a crazy amount. It's crazy expensive to subscribe to them and get them here in um, the US. Whoops. So here, let's go through Threads Magazine, which is pretty popular. Um, there's always new techniques. In these magazines. This time they're talking about scissors and I like it because there's just there's just always something new to look forward to and I, I enjoy flipping through a magazine and you get six issues per year for Threads magazine and it is let me check the subscription. You're looking at 30 $32 for one year, six issues. I think my net, my, when I get 2,000 subscribers, I'm probably gonna do a year of threads as the giveaway. Stay tuned for that, share my video, help me get there. <laughs> All right, let's go on to the next one, which is So News. Whoop, focus, this is another great one, just you know, for instance, this one they're talking about leggings, and then we've got different needle types. What's that for? See, you've learned something. And maybe you already know how to do something, but maybe it offers a different way, and you like that way better. That's great. And So News Magazine is a little bit less expensive. I think it's 29, where'd my, it's 21, $22 for six issues. So yeah, I am going to go for that. So there you have it. Internet resources, books, and magazines. Let me know what your favorite resources are and I've really, hope that you have enjoyed this video. Please be sure to enter my giveaway by subscribing to this channel, liking the video, and leaving a comment telling me why you like to sew and what you hope to learn from Blueprint. And I hope to, I'm gonna be announcing the winner um, October 1st or maybe the 2nd. You have until September 30th to enter. Now we still are in the month of September, which is National Sewing Month, so I'm gonna give you the rest of September to enter. 
And then within the first couple days of October, I will announce the winner for a three month subscription to Blueprint. I hope you liked this video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.